All right, thank you all and welcome to the T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada for the 2022 UFC Hall of Fame induction ceremony. I'm John Anik and I am grateful for the chance to play host to this special evening. So throughout the years, the Hall of Fame ceremony has become not just a celebration of MMA storied history, but a moment of reflection at a time when the sport is reaching historical heights. So each of our 2022 inductees will receive our traditional trophy signifying entry to the Sacred Hall, as well as the signature UFC Hall of Fame black jacket custom made by the W Diamond Group, who have been the US manufacturer of Hart, Shafter, and Marks, a men's tailored suit brand based out of Chicago since 1887. What a great honor it is for me to accept uh, Forrest Griffin uh, Community Award uh, to be recognized in this way. It means a great deal to me uh, because the Knockout Cancer Foundation started as a deeply personal experience. Uh, I wanted uh, to make a difference after my mom, Nino's battle with the cancer. You know, uh, when she got uh, sick again in 2012, it was a huge financial strain uh, to me and to my family. I'm proud to say uh, that every penny we have raised goes to the people who need the money the most. 100% of the proceeds go, goes to directly to those who are battling the cancer. It's important to me, to my family, that we give everything to the cause. So far, we have since uh, helped over 200 families. 일단 이렇게 어 좋은 상을 받게 돼서 너무 영광스럽고 어 그리고 이 상을 주신 UFC에 너무 감사드립니다. 어 제가 어 그래도 <웃음> 멋진 싸움을 했다는 거니까 네 너무 일단 기분이 좋고요. 뭐이이 상을 받았다는 것 자체가 제가 어 재밌게 팬들이 좋아하는 경기를 했다는 어떤 그런 부분에서 제가 잘한 거니까 그 부분이 너무 만족스럽고 제가 옛날부터 많이 얘기했던 게 있는데 음, 이기는 것도 중요하지만 이 스포츠 자체가 뭐 팬들이 없으면은 어, 뭐 있을 수 없는 스포츠잖아요. 그래서 이 상이 참 어, 멋진 상이긴 하지만 어, 아무래도 그 승리한 스완스 선수에게는 더 뜻깊을 것 같아요. 어, 스완스 선수에게 어, 너무 감사드리고 예전이나 지금이나 너무 존경하고 제일 좋아하는 네, 선수라는 거를 네, 스완스 선수에게 네, 전해주고 싶습니다. 너무 축하드립니다. 네. What an honor it is to be standing here getting inducted to the UFC Hall of Fame for that memorable fight with Duho Choi. Obviously, it takes two to make such a historic fight. And on that very cold and crazy night in Toronto, we both gave it everything we had. Uh, one of the things that I'm most proud about this fight getting inducted is I'm still that little kid in my mind, a uh, young kid that's uh, watching other people's highlight videos and I was inspired by that and I was like, that's what I want. It was never really to be champion. It was to make my mark to, to can I be so creative? Can I be so entertaining that I could inspire the next generation? This award isn't for me. It's for what I can do with it. And I can't do much without a team. So I'd like to send a special thank you to the guys on the ground doing the work. Food Bank of Hawaii, Boys and Girls Club Hawaii, uh, the U.S. military, and I also like to thank Dana White, Forrest Griffin, and Brian Smith. And I think they all agree with me when I say that this isn't a lifetime achievement award. This is a lifetime responsibility award, and I am honored to have this responsibility. Thank you, guys. And the fact that that journey brings us here tonight to the UFC Hall of Fame, 13 years after I stepped into the American Kickboxing Academy is absolutely incredible. Guys, this has been an absolute dream of mine. And I'm a guy that's always loved sports. And I understand the significance of the Hall of Fame. I understand the honor of an athlete's career being memorialized by those three words. Therefore, therefore I want you to know that this means everything to me. This is the culmination of a career that has spanned over a decade. So many people have been there for me on this journey that I would not be who I am today 
without their support. So to stand here tonight and be able to mention these people and truly thank them for everything that they did for me is something that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And when you hear the words Daniel Cormier Hall of Famer, I hope that each and every one of you and those two up there can feel like a big part of that was because of you. At that time, it was no fighter in UFC from Russia. It was no fighter, a long time. And uh, I become 16 and all in UFC signed me. I was first fighter from Russia. And a lot of people in my country was watching. Okay, like more than 10 years, nobody from our country competed in Russia. And now we're gonna watch how we're gonna deal with this. A lot of coaches, a lot of like managers, fighters, they watch. And uh, January 2012, I make my debut in UFC. And I finish my opponent. And after that, UFC understand they have to watch to this area and bring some good fighters from there, you know. And I'm very happy I was I was first guy uh, for a lot of fighters who come after me in the United States. You guys are gonna see me like a lot next couple years. I'm not gonna let you guys miss me, you know. I'm gonna be there very close to very close to cage and you know screaming on someone. You guys are gonna see me. You guys are gonna see me a couple more years, inshallah. Ladies and gentlemen, let us once more hear it for the entire class of 2022. Duho Choi versus Cub Swanson, Daniel Cormier, Khabib Nurmagomedov, Giga Chikadze, and Max Holloway.